We live in a world that uh, identifies us uh, based on where we belong. Uh, we live in a world that uh, identifies you based on your color, based on your tribe, or based on whether you are educated or not educated, based on the church where you go, the denomination which you subscribe to or the religion that you subscribe to. We live in a world that wants to identify us based on where we belong. But I want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that um, when Jesus he had died for us, he, he, he gave power to an organization, an organization that is called the church. We know of organizations that have power financially. We know of organizations that have power to change, make decisions and change the course of the world. We know of organizations that have power to sit down and bring uh, changes that will influence humanity for the generations to come. But I want to tell you that there is an organization that Jesus is the head of. There is an organization that Jesus Jesus gave power. When you read in the Bible in Matthew chapter 28, when Jesus was about to ascend, he says, the Bible says, he said, all power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. Jesus gave power to this organization, Power to the apostles, power to, to, to his children, sons and daughters who accept him as their Lord and Savior. He gave them power so that they may be able to go out into the world and share the good news of salvation. So that they may go out into the cities, they may go out into the villages, so that they may go out into the islands and teach people about him and tell them that we have a Savior. So that that when they accept him, then they will join this organization that is called the church. When you read your Bible, it says Christ is the head of the church. In other words, in this organization, we don't just have a man as a chairman. In this organization, we don't just have a president who dies at some point. In this organization, we don't just have a powerful man who resides on the throne to make orders. But in this organization, we have a God himself on the throne. We have a God who runs and reigns in the universe. We have a God who died for us, came out of the grave and gave power to this organization that is called the church. I am saying to you and me, my dear brothers and sisters, if there is one thing that God gave to his children, that is a gift. It is an ability to join this organization because in this organization we don't need money to join in this organization we don't need to carry cards like some have of political parties to show that you are a member in this organization you need to believe in the one who is the head of this organization in Christ who is the head of this church and when you believe in him accept him and begin a journey of following him. He, 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 he calls you a member of this organization, but not only a member of this organization, but a son and a daughter of God. It is my prayer that you may enjoy the fellowship of brothers in the church. It is my prayer that you may enjoy joining this organization whose chairman and leader is Christ himself. May the Lord bless you.